morning guys so welcome back to another vlog today's vlog is going to be a mix of today and tomorrow um, mostly tomorrow because tomorrow I have a cake so that's something a bit different it's a letter cake as well which I haven't done before but I know how to do it so I thought that I would show you the process of that um, today I've just got all my postal brownies I've just been to the post office because on Sunday I baked for Monday post and then today I'm baking for Tuesday post and then I'm having Wednesday as a non-postal day this week because I have a cake so I won't be able to do it all um, and also I won't be able to like go to the post office because I have the collection of the cake um, and then Thursday is another postal day um, that's the last one of the week so I will be baking for that on Wednesday but that probably won't be in this vlog but I just wanted to start the vlog off with a bit of a story time because today has been not that great already so if you have watched my vlog from last week you will know that I didn't have a great day on Monday and it is Monday again and it looks like it's being a difficult day already and we haven't even properly started the day it's only 12 so um, I drove to the post office it was closed again so my local post office for some reason I'm not sure if it's due to Covid or like people being off with Covid but three times this month it has closed for five to seven days depending on when it closed um, so I went in there and it's closed again and it's completely closed it's not like they've reduced hours so they've done that quite a few times so I think it's because there's one person in and they've obviously got ill or they've called in sick and there's no one else to cover um, which is very frustrating considering um, they might be able to employ more people but obviously I don't know about that um, so you know don't come for me if I'm wrong but I for the past however many years that I've been going to that post office, um, even before I was a baker, there was the same two women that worked there and they are amazing, but they need to employ some other people um, just to cover because it's definitely not enough. Um, but yeah, anyway, I went to a different post office. I forgot my list and I forgot my phone and my list of ingredients that I needed to buy. So I had to drive home. Then I drove to Stone, which is like, 20 minutes from where I live basically um, so I drove there that was fine got to the post office I was first in the queue and then there were seven people behind me so that was lucky I got everything that I needed from the shops so again really lucky so I was thinking wow like my day's turning around then I walked to the car and a big um, like Land Rover SUV had blocked me in um, it was about I don't know like like from my arm to here it really wasn't that much however they were behind me and I was parked next to a fence and they were blocking me on the same side as the fence so if I wanted to get out of the space I had to turn my nose of the car towards the fence and then maybe hit it so I couldn't get out um, and there was a car next to me so I was just stuck there basically so I waited there for 20 minutes and no one came to the car and I was thinking they could be on a walk like they could live around here um they could be anywhere um so i got someone to help me get out so there was this random woman stood outside the shop and lovely she actually helped me get out because everyone else was like in their cars or in the shops so there wasn't anyone able to help but yeah so she was waiting so i said do you mind like watching in front of my car because i don't want to obviously hit the fence and then she did that for me i managed to get out but i spent a whole hour going to the post office usually it's a five minute trip including actually scanning the items and everything because I'm that close to it um, but I had to drive 20 minutes to one and then because I got blocks in wasted even more time so it's not a great day but um, I posted on my Instagram stories if you follow me on there you'll know but I asked people if they're also having a bad Monday and some people said various things the, some of the responses were things like my house is flooded which is terrible much worse than my day um, someone fell over on the ice um, so yeah people aren't having good Mondays either but yeah I hope you enjoy if you haven't already please like and subscribe and we're gonna get into the vlog <laughs> All of my brownies have just come out of the oven so I thought I'd show you them now that they're out because I thought that might be a bit more interesting and I'm also just making lunch and then I'm going to do some ceramics. What I aim to do is try and get all of the brownies baked before like three o'clock and then from three until six I can kind of do what I want so I'm going to do ceramics and then it means that when I get back at six like once I'm finished doing whatever I'm doing then I can start decorating them that takes about an hour to do all of them it's really really quick so 
it means that I can have them done by seven. They can go in the fridge to set because I do chocolate drizzle on top of them. That means that they have to set a little bit before I put them in the packaging. Otherwise, all the chocolate is gonna stick to the cellophane bags. So because I do that extra, I need to put them back in the fridge after that. They also have to go in the fridge to cool. So what I do is now I'm gonna put these in the fridge and then they can, now they've cooled like naturally, then I'll put them in the fridge to cool for a couple of hours before I decorate them. Um, I need to make one more tray, which I'm just waiting for the tray that these brownies are in to then take them out and put this second batch in. So I will turn you around so that you know I what I mean. So I'm going to wait for these to cool and then I'll take those out and then I can use this tray. So we've got Biscoff, chocolate orange, and I've labeled it as you can see. Then we have Kinder, which is Kinder Bars, and then Kinder Hippo and also um, Nutella. And then we have white chocolate. So I tried to put some buttons on here and then they just melted like straight away. So I've kind of made it into a spread and then once I put all the bits on top, it will cover it up anyway. Um, and then I've got stir fry over here. So I'm just doing all the veg and then I'm gonna put the Singapore noodles and that's all I have. No um, like other bits with it. What the space is currently looking like, so it's kind of semi-clean. Um, so I've just got all of my toppings, I've got my orders here, um, then I've got all of my ingredients here. The dogs are barking, so I need to tell them to stop. Um, but yeah, that Over is around the corner, semi-clean. I've got my orders there, all my toppings, which are all like messy, I need to tie those up. Then I've got my ingredients here. I had to buy some eggs, because they're still not any more, not laying, so I need to buy some more. Um, and then these are the other ingredients. Update. This is my new little um, drawers unit. It's out of my room, but I moved it into here. So I've had this the whole time, but I've just got my labels and like stickers and things in here. And then in the top one is all postal stuff. So like the document enclosed things and the cellophane. And then this one has my thank you labels as well. See so stick more stickers and then thank you labels. And then these are normally in here, um, but I've just taken them out to prep the boxes. And then this is my folder. As you can see, I've got my receipts, um, my recipes and all of that in there. Then I have my boxes prepped. So I've got four brownies or like four sets of brownies, but two of them are going to the same place. So I've got a bigger box, but these are all prepped. So it's got perishable, it's got the label. It's just got to have the toppings written on there. And then it's got the cellophane bag, business card, stickers. And then this is to put the address in, it goes in there on the outside. So they're all prepped so that I literally just need the brownies and then just to actually package it and put it all together. Um, but yeah, each of them all have that in there so that it's all ready. I've also cut up six sheets of bubble wrap just to go in the boxes, sometimes with the um, boxes of four you need a little bit more padding um, so I like to cut more than I need and then I can always just put it in these drawers and also the one that's got two trays in it needs to have a piece of bubble wrap in between each tray so I've got the extra there so that's all prepped already so guys hello it's been a little while since I filmed obviously for you it's a couple of seconds but for me it's quite a few hours um, so I completely forgot about the vlog, however most of what I wanted to show you is tomorrow for the cake. I didn't really want to show you too much of today because it will be kind of a repeat on what you've seen previously. Um, but I just thought I would come and chat to you before I go to bed. I'm just doing a few finishing touches on some brownies. So I thought I'd update you now. So it's quarter to 11, I've got about 15 minutes where I'm just adding a few toppings, they'll go in the fridge. Um, two of the three postals are all packaged up. No, two of the, two of the, th there's four items. This one I'm getting confused. There's four items, but two of them are going to the same place. So there is three postals, but there's actually four items. Um, so three items are packaged up already to go. There's just one. And then one of them was a really late order, but it's someone that I used to work with. So... Um, I thought that I would do it anyway, so I've finished baking that and I just need to drizzle some Biscoff on that because it's a really simple one to do. Um, and it's also a tray, so I didn't want to do any like individual brownies because they would have taken longer. Um, so yeah, I have 
done those they're all baked i've just got four brownies to decorate which is one of the postals and then the biscoff tray that i'm doing is a delivery like a local one so yeah i've got five items going out tomorrow i had five go out today and then i've got three so far for thursday and then i've got a cake for wednesday so i'm doing that tomorrow which is tuesday which you'll see um but yeah, I've got three so far for Thursday. That might change. There might be more because it is open for two more days. So I'm probably going to get more orders and I'll probably be really busy with that. I'm really busy with the ceramics and I'm a little bit panicky because there's so much to do before the launch this weekend. Um, I need to take like promotional photos. I need to list stuff on the website. I'm just way too busy. Um, oh, this is what I was going to show you, but I'm too busy talking. Um, the mini whisk. So I ordered these whisks last week um, in the vlog and I kept telling you guys how great they were. So I ordered the wrong ones. I ordered minis. I think I told you about this this morning, but I wanted to actually show you the size difference. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen. I don't have one of my other whisks clean. But you can tell that is absolutely tiny. Um, so yeah, it's, it's so tiny. So it doesn't work. Um, it works for, if you know the process of doing brownies, it works for everything before the flour. So when you're like doing the eggs and the chocolate, works for that. But as soon as you add the flour in, obviously that is way too small. It just gets clogged up with flour, so it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a little bit of use out of them. I'm thinking that I just use it for like melted chocolate that kind of thing um but yeah so i spent five pounds on them and then what's really annoying is they are so similar in price that's why my mum said she was like maybe that's why they were cheap and i was like no i bought ones that were cheap so i've reordered them so they should come in a couple of days so if i get them before i've edited this vlog then i'll insert a bit in but they were two pound 99 and these were two pound 50 and they're mini so I knew that they were really, really similar in price and that's why I got mixed up. So that's annoying because I ordered two of the mini ones and I don't need two mini ones, but I've ordered one of the big ones because obviously I've wasted five pounds on two mini ones. So I just got one big one because I thought that that would do me now that I've got the minis as well. Um, but yeah, so that's the current situation that came. I'm almost like halfway through all my postal boxes that I got last week because I'm getting so many orders, which is like, I don't know what's going on. Like, thank you to anyone that's ordered because I'm getting so many. Um, yeah, I've done crazy amounts of orders compared to December and before that. So it's really gone up in January, which I'm keeping up with, but like all the supplies is what I also need to keep up with. So yeah, I'm almost halfway through my 25 pack of boxes. So I'm probably gonna have to go on Amazon and order more of those because I don't think it will last me. It will probably last me this week and then I'll need some more for next week. And I'm definitely gonna need more for Valentine's because again, I've got nine orders for Valentine's day. And because I'm only doing one post all day that week because I want it all to go out on the same day so that it's all going out early and then hopefully it will all be there by Valentine's. I'm posting on the Tuesday in the morning so I'm having it all ready to go out in the morning so that will be posted first thing and hopefully I mean Valentine's isn't until the Sunday so I'm hoping that if anything they'll arrive early and then people can just keep them in the fridge all sealed because it's a tray so they can just keep it in the cellophane all sealed but yes um that's going to be busy I'm going to do a vlog for that but that's going to be very busy because it's all in one day so it's not like when I get, because I mean, last week I had 19 orders, but it was over three postal days. Um, and then one of them, I think, was not on a postal day because it was a local delivery. So if anything, it was over four days. So it made it a bit easier, whereas this is all in one day. So I'm going to be running around like a headless chicken on the Sunday and the Monday because there's going to be so much to do. And I've probably had another 10 people say that when it hits payday, they're buying. So I've currently got nine, but I have a feeling that it's gonna hit at least 20. So yeah, but all the fondant bits that go on top, I can do them a couple of days before. So that's the plan. So I'll include that in the vlog. And then I'm also going to be doing the little chocolate hearts. I've got a mold for them. So I'm gonna do the little chocolate hearts again, a few days ahead, because one, I need loads of them. And two, they don't, not like go off, but like 
you can do them in advance basically is what I kind of mean um, because it's just melted chocolate you're just melting it putting it into a mold and then it solidifies so you can do that days in advance so again I'll do that and then literally all I need to do on the Monday is bake everything so and trays are so easy to bake it's the individuals that are a bit of a pain but I actually took one of the individuals off my Etsy today so I'm hoping no one will notice um, so I took the box of six off because I'm gradually trying to move over to only doing trays just because it's so much more convenient especially when you have a lot of orders which I'm getting more and more and it's becoming more of a pain to do the boxes of four because you have to let them cool then you have to cut them then you have to do all the drizzle and then they go into the cellophane bag but they're a bit of a pain to get in there whereas the trays fit perfectly into the cellophane bag whereas the um, individuals if you cut them slightly too big out of the tray if I cut them slightly too big then they'll be literally a centimeter and they'll be a bit big for the bag whereas the trays just fit perfectly it's just easy they fit perfectly into the box um, so yeah it's just so much easier packaging wise and baking wise so we will see how that goes so I've taken the six off there because that was less popular I've been getting a lot of orders for four but the odd one or two um, like a week for the six so I thought I'd take that off and see if people notice see if people are too worried about it um, and then gradually I think maybe in the next month I'm going to take the fours off and then hopefully it'll just be trays so that'll be a lot easier for me and it's also easier to keep track of stock like I can buy silver trays and I know that I need a certain amount whereas I'm buying cellophane bags for the individuals and for the trays so it means that when I go right I've got 50 trays left I need to make sure I've got 50 cellophane bags but I also need to make sure I've got enough for all the individuals as well as the trays if that makes sense so rather than just matching everything and saying right I've got 50 of everything I've got 50 boxes 50 trays 50 cellophane bags I've got to go right I've got 50 of all of those but I might get the odd individual order so yeah it's just hard to keep track of I'm literally out of breath from talking um, so I'm gonna decorate some brownies now I'll show you once they're done because that might be more interesting this is the mix box that I did so it's Freddo original and milk chocolate buttons I was gonna do this one in the morning but I decided that I would do it tonight and then I don't have any to do in the morning so that's that one I just need to put the address and like the um, I'm just gonna cover the address <laughs> Um, so I've got the postage bag and the bubble wrap there and all the tape so I'll put that on and then I'll just show you the Biscoff one then this is the Biscoff one so it's Biscoff and white chocolate it's gonna have a little fondant plaque on it so I'm gonna do that in the morning um, but apart from that these are all done so I just need to put some tissue paper in there and then I'll put this in a cellophane bag as well um, and then I also need to stick that on there but I didn't want it to fall onto the brownie so I haven't done it yet so I've just placed it there but yeah that one is the local delivery so that doesn't need to go into a bag or anything so um, like a postal bag so I can just do that in the morning whereas this one I need to wrap up in a postal bag so I'm going to do that now so it's all ready and done morning guys so it is Tuesday and I'm making the cake today I've just gone to the post office um, so I'll insert a photo here of all of the parcels before I left because I like to put it on my Instagram so that if anyone is following that's ordered then they know that they've all gone and people just like to see what's going on. Um, so yeah I've done that and I've just gone on to Etsy and my website and marked them all off as like fulfilled. So the way I do it is I've got the um, proof of postage and I just work through the um, postcode and tick that off matching Etsy so I know that they've all been posted um, so yeah we're going to start by making the cake I'm going to bake it it will take half an hour to bake and then it will take another half an hour to an hour to cool because um, with like the difference with brownies and cakes is brownies you can let them cool for half an hour and then put them in the fridge whereas cake I personally I don't like to put it in the fridge um, when it's in the tin still so I let it completely cool in the tin then I take it out um, once it's like a bit warm then I take it out of the tin and again I still leave it on a wire rack rather than putting it in the fridge the only time I put it in the fridge is once it's either iced or once it's completely done then it stays in the fridge but before that point it doesn't go in there at all I just think that it makes it less um, like condensated. Sometimes it can get condensated if it's warm and then you 
put it into the fridge because all the heat from it is going to condensate um so yeah it's better to let them kind of air um cool rather than putting them in the fridge so i'm going to do that so um i'll be doing a few bits in between probably making the toppings so i need to do um, chocolate covered strawberries i need to do little chocolate bars and i need to do a cake pop as well so i'm going to use because it's a letter cake where i cut out of the cake i'm going to use that to make the cake pop so that will have to be done in the afternoon once the cake's done um once i've like actually baked it but i can make all the little chocolate bars and bits that are going on top of it so that they're ready i need to make a little fondant plaque to go on it that just says happy birthday so i'm going to do that as well so there's lots of little bits to be doing in between and then because it's a letter cake it's kind of like a naked cake so you put the filling in between but you don't put anything around the outside So guys, we are on to the cake now. I have done everything else that I needed to do, any admin that I needed to do. So, and I've just got back from Tesco's because I had to pick up a few little bits. So, this is the cake cut. Um, so, I forgot to film that bit, but it was very um, like high concentration. So, you had to make sure that you were cutting both layers the same. I put them both on top of each other, so I'd recommend that but I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. So I have these, which you can get off eBay. You literally just type in, um, I think it's either greaseproof paper or parchment paper, and you just type in eight inch circular tin and then it will come up. So these are pre-cut. I buy them in packs of 100 and I have cut one to the shape of a C. So I freehanded this, I just drew it with, um, yeah just freehand and it was really easy obviously if you need a bit of help with it then maybe i took up a image from pinterest and then you can kind of work out the shape of a c because it needs to be 3d and you want the top to be slightly thinner than the bottom like ever so slightly um and then obviously this curve needs to be a little bit elongated otherwise it will be a proper circle which you don't want necessarily and then yeah i just rounded off the edges a little bit and then I literally laid that on top of my cake. These cases, these um, like parchment paper, they're about half an inch too big. So as you can see, it slightly hangs over the edge. So I just roughly cut it um, to make sure that it was the right shape. Um, then I put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes just to make sure that any bits that you've, because you're using a bread knife, um, where you cut the edges, they can sometimes be a bit rough on the edges. So I put it in the fridge a little bit just to firm it up slightly. So now we're gonna move on to the buttercream. It's Victoria sponge, so there's gonna be strawberry jam, which I have here. And then we've also got ice and sugar. So I've weighed it out, I just need to actually mix it together. So we've got our butter and our ice and sugar. The butter is a little bit cold, so I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to warm it up a little bit. And then we're gonna mix that together. I am using a round board. Some people use square boards for letter cakes, um, but I wanted this color and I could only find it in a round board. It's not a drum, it is a board, again, because I couldn't find it in this color. Um, and because the cake is gonna be like baby pink and like a very pastel pink um, cream and then a bit of lilac, I thought that this would go really nicely. And that is a 10 inch board and I use eight inch tins to do the cake. If you wanted it for more people, then you could definitely do bigger. Um, I charged accordingly for a smaller cake, but if you were doing it for more people, the typical size is 14 inch, which I have a tin for that, but she said that it was only for two people, so I didn't want to charge through the roof and also end up with loads of leftover cake because it's only for two people so this way it's kind of like a mini version but it still gives the desired effect of a letter cake so the toppings that i've got to go on it these are like the pre-made ones so i have galaxy bars 
and Kit Kat. So these are going to be going on top of the cake. So I've got these strawberries that I'll be covering in chocolate and then I've also got some chocolate bar moulds and a cake pop mould which I'm going to be doing in a minute. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing second. So I'm going to do all the buttercream, I'm going to pipe it onto the cake, stack it, get it sort of basically done and then I'm going to start luster dusting the chocolates and making like the little chocolate bars and the cake pop to go on it. I'll make that afterwards. Just because once I've done the main cake, then I can kind of relax because I know that that's the main thing done. So I want to do that first and then all the little bits can be done afterwards. So yeah, we're going to get into making the icing first and then we'll be on to the cake.
So I have finished the cake and I have finished everything for today. So it's actually five o'clock. I finished at about 10 to five. So it's gonna be a really nice evening because I have my whole evening. I haven't finished before about 9, 10 for quite a few days. Um, I was working yesterday, Sunday. I had Saturday off and then I was working Friday to like Monday to Friday last week and all of those days I was pretty much doing stuff in the evening as well so it's really nice to have an evening off. Um, I'm going to turn you around and show you the cake. The recipient is getting it on Wednesday afternoon so obviously I don't want to completely show everyone before they've received it so yeah if you're wondering why this is going up a little later because I did put on my story that I was doing a day in the life I just remembered that I can't obviously post it yet so there will be another video that went up on Tuesday I think it's my labels one so go and check that out if you haven't already and we're gonna look at the cake now so this is the cake if I show you from the top you can see it's a letter C if I turn it slightly so we have chocolate covered strawberries we've got a cake pop another cake pop i wanted to make two um because i had some extra chocolate and i was feeling nice so i thought i'd do two so i just put one on the board because there wasn't space on here um then we have little mini chocolate bars a fondant topper there is another strawberry behind there we have kit kat galaxy and then these little chocolate bars are just white chocolate milky bar melted um and then the actual cake is victoria sponge so it's got the strawberry jam and the vanilla buttercream all over it. The theme was um, like neutrals, like baby pink, pastel, lilac, and like a creamy white and gold. So I really, really hope she likes it because I absolutely love it. She wanted gold dusted Galaxy and Kit Kat. So those are like obviously not as gold as like white chocolate would be because they have got the milk chocolate underneath. But you would have seen from the video, it does cover really well. I just wanted to quickly show you these because I wasn't sure if it would show you that well in the video. So I thought I would show you separately. So this is the luster dust i use so it is rainbow dust it won't focus but um yeah it's gold rainbow dust and it is in the shade metallic gold treasure and it's a really nice like kind of um pale champagne kind of color whereas this one that i have is a lot more gold than this one so this one's a bit more subtle this one is a spray can as you can see like that um, this is from Cake Decor, that's the brand. I got it from the range. They also do it, I think in places like Poundland. Um, and it comes in like a little cardboard packet. And then this is in a little plastic. Um, I, it's really hard to explain. Like, you know when it's laid down like that and then it's got a cardboard piece and it's like in that packet. <laughs> that's what it looks like basically. It's not just in bottles on the side, it's in a packet. And then this is from Amazon. This is the gold leaf that I use. And it's called Kino. It's literally, you can use any. Um, I just pick the edible um, gold leaf. So whichever one is like cheapest or you get the most for your money. So like you get 10 sheets in this and they're pretty big sheets. So yeah, that's the one I use. So um, the board is from Tesco's because I wanted to get her a pink board. And all of the um, like online stores were like longer delivery. And because it's just one item, I got it from Tesco's. Because, yeah, I wanted to get a little pale pink one. Um, so, yeah. But I absolutely love it. So, yeah, as you can see, it is a C. And it's just so cute. I've never made one of these before. Um, like I knew how to make it, but I just never had the request. So, yeah, I'm excited because now I can actually offer these. And they're just so cute. Um, so, yeah, I really, really hope that she enjoys it. I've got some leftover cake over there. So, I'm going to cling film that put it in the fridge and then I might make some cake pops and just use some photos and eat them myself, I'll see. Um, so yeah, and then everything else is clean. I've wiped the counters and everything. So yes, I'm gonna get some promotional photos of this cake now that it's all finished. And then I will be just tidying up. I'm gonna box it up, so I'll show you that. So yes, all finished for the day. Absolutely love it. But yeah, the, the only thing that was a little bit off pink is the um, little bit of fondant it was really difficult to try and get it the right color because fondant is like a blank canvas whereas the buttercream has a slight cream tint so it always colors slightly different so that one took the pink really really well even though i put literally like 
a tiny pea sized bit in there. It took the colour really well, so it's quite pink, but I'm hoping that they love it as much as I do because I just think it's so, so cute. Um, but yeah, and then all of, I've put the gold spray, this one, as you can see, that's kind of sprayed all over it. So you can see it on the strawberries and on here. Um, and they've got gold leaf on them. And the buttercream also has gold leaf, as you can see there. So yes, absolutely love it. So it's all packaged up. I've got my business card, a little sticker, my logo sticker, and then these little allergen stickers. And then the cake is obviously in there. So this is gonna be going in the fridge. I think she's collecting around one or three tomorrow. I need to check my messages. Um, but yeah, it will just be in the fridge until then. So it's all ready to go. So I'm just gonna turn you back around. So I've done all the um, promotional photos. I did a little TikTok as well, um, but obviously everything is drafts until she's collected it. Um, I'm gonna finish the vlog now. Um, it's 5.30, I'm gonna make some dinner, but I'm gonna finish it because I'm gonna go and film that labels video um, because so many people have been asking about it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of washing up and then I'm gonna film the labels video where I create my own labels. I'm gonna create my own like allergen stickers and um, like little care cards because um, I actually ordered some off of Etsy and they didn't arrive. Um, I ordered them like three months ago and the reviews were really bad. No one was getting their stuff and like no responses back from the seller or anything. So I requested a refund. I got a refund, um, but it was more the principle that I was waiting for so long and I didn't want to order any more just in case she had sent them out and they were just taking a while. But the reviews were like terrible she had probably like 50 people saying like you've taken my money but you haven't sent them um and then there were the odd one where she had sent them so i'm not really sure what's going on because there's the odd one um kind of like weaved in between the people that haven't received it um there was like one a week ago where they said thank you posted in january and received really quickly so i'm not really sure what's going on but yeah so i decided that i'm going to create my own labels because that's probably what they're doing. You know, they're obviously creating it on some kind of system. So I'm gonna try it using Canva and um, printing using Word and yeah, we'll see. Um, hopefully it goes well. And I thought I'll just try making them myself because I'm paying someone else to make them for me when I probably could do it myself. So hopefully I'll be able to help some of you guys out as well, making them affordably and without having to wait for them to arrive. So yeah, we will see. But yeah, if you haven't watched that video, then that would have already been up. So make sure you go and check that out after this. If you did like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna see more videos. This was mainly focused around today. So there wasn't much yesterday. So I'm sorry if I kept forgetting to film because it's because there wasn't really much going on that was different. Um, but yeah, and if you haven't already, check out my Instagram because that's where I post all of these promotional photos and stuff that I take of all of my cakes and brownies and all of that. So then you can see what the kind of outcome is of all the photos that I take because they definitely look even better in the photos than they do um, just in this like film. Popping in for the last time because I forgot to mention this. So another thing that arrived today was these. There's actually more of them, but they are little silicone molds. So I'm gonna start stocking these on my website. I've also got some abstract um, cake pop lolly ones coming. Um, so it, one of them looks a bit like a twister lolly. And then one of them is um, like geometric, which is really, really rare. Um, so I'm very, very excited to finally be stocking those soon. Um, these ones have already arrived. I'm still waiting for the others to arrive, um, but I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks they should be on there. Um, I need to have the time to write all the listings and everything, which obviously takes a little bit of time. Um, I already have these ones, so I'm going to try and get some like promotional photos of these and maybe show you how to use them. So this one is a butterfly mould. So as you can see, this one is a mini one. The others are um, like standard size cake pot ones, but this one is more for like finer details. You can use it for fondant, you can use it for chocolate, um, obviously tempered chocolate because it will be more fragile. Um, but yeah, so those are the moulds that I thought I would show you. I wanted to show you like with all of them here, but I kind of 
got a bit excited today so I wanted to show you them anyway even though the others haven't arrived um, but yeah so it will be something that I will stock on my website as like merchandise and I'm also going to be stocking the t-shirts and aprons on there I'm going to be stocking aprons um, as well which will have like little sayings on them um, so yes it's very very exciting that's going to be in the next sort of months or so month or so um because i have this launch of ceramics i can't do it all at once um because that's taking up so much time especially this week when i'm already really really busy so yes um i'm gonna try and get those on the website in the next two weeks and then the others when they arrive will be on there probably in the next three four weeks maybe um just because i'm so so busy at the moment but yes that is in the pipeline so that is one of the things that I was talking about in one of my other videos but I couldn't necessarily say yet um so yes I'm gonna have some molds on my website which you can buy um so that is kind of like my accessory outlet on there and then I'm also gonna have the clothing merchandise on there so yes I'm very very excited and I need to write all the listings and do all the um kind of like pricing details delivery there's so much that comes into it so that's why it's definitely going to take a little while a little bit longer um but yeah the other um cake pop lolly molds are so nice i'm so excited for those i'm going to be doing loads of tutorials with them i thought that i would do a cake pop tutorial um and i can use those and show you how they work because a lot of people don't know how to make cake pops in general but these molds are so cute the geometric one especially um and because they're super rare they're really hard to get hold of so it means that you guys can now get hold of them really easily because my post will be between one and three days so it's really really soon so yes that is the other update that is everything so we're now gonna end the video because yeah i think that's everything that i had to say all the updates that i need to talk about so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one bye